Welcome back to the third correction video on the Barn Fine 1974 Stingray. There will be a little bit less commentary, as most of you, being the third video, know what's going on. If not, I suggest going back to the first video so you can uh, hear the process explained uh, in great detail. I'm going to jump in here and there when there's something new that I can show you, and I will be using different tools and different processes as we go along, just to keep it exciting. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'm going to let you just enjoy the, the content as a visual. First, we want to remove these grates here. These are just fake grates, just for looks here. Uh, we'll use the Penetrol 90 from Schaefer's and um, work those screws loose. I will be removing the cap as well because I have a new one coming in. I uh, can't wait to, to get... It's just the little nuances that you can add to these cars that are fun. Again, this is going to be more of a Le Mans car than a uh, an original. Uh, this being the, the fourth C3 now that I'm redoing. And I'm really loving these cars. I know them inside and out. Uh, just like pretty much all of the models for the Corvette. And they're so fun to work on. So having those removed, there's so much debris and dirt in there. We're going to clean those out before we move on. In the first video, I showed you wet sanding with palm blocks. In the second video, the three-inch polisher. Now, just a regular dual-action polisher with a six-inch backing plate. You can buy discs for those as well. Hook and loop. If you want, you could soak the disc in water 24 hours before you're ready to go. If not, just spray or mist a little bit of water onto the surface of whatever section you're working on and then onto the surface of the pad and you can get to work. A little bit less splatter that way, but still enough water to keep the pad clean. After using a 2-inch or 3-inch polisher or a block by hand to get the corners, this is what it looks like. And now it's time to step down to 5,000 grit, as I've showed in some of the other videos.
With the cutting done by wet sanding, it's time to polish. Now we swap pads, grab the acrylic glaze, and get a crust on top of that single stage. We now have the T-tops, the roof arch, the deck, which is over top of the gas tank finished. Perfect? No, not even close, but 10 times better than what it would roll off the factory floor in the early 70s. This is going to be a daily driver for me to get it back and forth from work, to have fun in, and I'm absolutely happy with it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. This is what we will be tackling next, the worst part of the car. The front of the car was pointed towards the door of the barn where some sunlight came in, sped up the oxidation, and that's what we'll hit next. Brian from Apex Detail, if you have any questions on what we did so far, let me know, but I'll catch you in the next video.